Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we will be doing a quick recap of our project at East Airport. This project is going to go over some of the things that we did on the site, as well as show you a final review of the site. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make it a point to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. This is how we met the building at the beginning of the project. It was nothing but a plastic shell ready for us to work with. The compound was done, but even with this, there were certain problems that we had to resolve. We began by fixing existing problems that the previous contractors were not able to complete. We started the project in January of 2020 and in March of the same year, we experienced a lockdown due to a little pest called COVID-19. COVID-19 came and disrupted our entire workflow because due to the lockdown, work on sites had to stop entirely. Another challenge we faced had to do with the dressing of the windows. When we started work on the project, these had already been done. It was so bad, we had to close up certain areas and do the dressing again. Some of the problems became even more obvious when the windows were installed. You could see large gaps around them, which was quite bad. Even when they tried closing up the space with silicone, it still didn't work. This meant that we had to do quite a bit of patchwork to close up the gaps and this wasn't the best because the client ended up having to pay twice for the same work. The windows are a lot. I even had to step in to speed it up at some point. So you can see that a lot of work was done on all these windows just to make them okay. Another issue we faced was the plumbing. The plumbing work was not done properly and that caused us to do extra bit of work. An example was with the layout and positioning of the showers. It wasn't done properly and it was put in the wrong place. So we had to chisel the walls just to make corrections and changes. The major problem was the chiseling work, especially for the electrical works. Just when you were about to work, the electricians will come in chisel the walls and run their cables. We now had to patch up those areas and continue with our work. There was also a leakage in the roof that we had to address. This also worried us because we thought all these issues were addressed by the previous contractor. We managed to resolve it in the end though. We also had to redress the doors because that job was not done properly. The previous team working on it really messed up, so a whole chunk of the work early on was rectifying these mistakes. This journey, like I said, has not been easy, but one of the biggest challenges is what I stated that COVID came in and messed up our timeline because it didn't just, it, we we're not just put into a period of lockdown, but our entire flow was disrupted because as an institution, as a company, we rely on so many different suppliers to get our work moving. So when one part of that chain stops, it affects the entire flow of our work. And that was the biggest challenge that we faced when it came to this project. But other than that, this project went on smoothly. Um, also, certain aspects of the design had to be changed. Certain aspects of the, some of the apartments had to be changed because we felt that some of the places needed to be a bit bigger, some places needed to be smaller, so there needed to be some partitions in certain areas. But all in all, the whole purpose, the whole reason why we were brought in 
was to make sure that the apartment was completed to the standard that the client wanted and we decided to pursue to. So that is why we were brought on board and that is how this project has taken shape from January of 2020 to today. painting went on, we fixed all our lights, switches, and sockets. As all of this work was also going on, our plumbers also came in to start fixing all of the sanitary wear, that is the toilets, the showers, the sinks, and the taps. We also managed to bring in the doors and install. the next phase of works we decided to clean up our act by having corner molds installed now the corner molds are what you see in the top corners of most rooms that have plasterboard ceilings you don't always have to use have plasterboard before you can have corner molds they are just a feature that help hide some of the jagged edges on your walls and also help to beautify your home one challenge that we faced was with the giant glass window that was in the penthouse. We had to come up with several different designs before finally agreeing on the one that you're seeing in this shop right now. Due to the nature of the building and due to the size of the window, we were not sure whether or not to have fixed glass or to make the glass such that it could be open to allow air in. Because of some of these factors, we ended up playing around with the design until we finally settled on the one that we decided to use for the main penthouse. You can also see the stonework also ongoing as a feature on the building. In some places, you will see the stonework being fit fitted as tiles. In most places, the stone feature usually comes in the form of a tile that is done across the wall. But in this instance, we use actual stones and have them cut into their preferred sizes, after which they were laid from the bottom to the top, stacking them on top of each other as we went along. This helped us come up with the ideal kind of feature that we wanted for our wall, the one that you could see in the 3D design. This particular design was a custom design chosen by the client. We also had the ACs installed and you can also see painting ongoing on the exterior of the building. From this angle, you can see the building starting to take shape. With the apartment done, we went ahead to furnish the two bedrooms and then leave the three bedrooms unfurnished. Take a moment to admire what's the interior of our apartments look like.
we bring today's video to an end. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make it a point to subscribe today to see more amazing videos like this one. If you have any questions and suggestions, kindly leave them in the comment section below. To view this apartment or you rent it, kindly give us a call. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.